Welcome to Bears in Exile. Today is Wednesday, October the 10th, and this is the market overview looking at the Dow, SPX, VIX, TNA, UUP, FXE, GLD, GE, Apple, XLF, JP Morgan, and uh, a few other things. All right, so really good day in the market. Dow down almost 1%, 128 and a half points to the downside. Excellent. And it is very interesting. So we've been expecting the move down. We're just waiting for everything to turn. It did. It went down. And what do we have today? Well, we have penetration into the long-term moving average bar. Good. And doing it proper, not gapping into it. Excellent. And beyond that, making a new recent low, bearish. We're moving down still on everything, bearish. Um, when is it going to turn? Is it too early to even think that it's going to turn? Well, there are a few things. One being, look at the bottom of today. And look where it matches up, right here, bottom of big green candle. We know support is at the midpoint. We know better support is at the bottom. And where did we back away from today? That bottom. Everything working the way it's supposed to. So does it get caught at this point? Does it go down to this point? We're not sure at the moment. We know that there's plenty of resistance here. We know that there's resistance here. We know there's resistance here. At which point does it get caught? Well, we were looking for 13,400 today, and actually just above it, which matches up right here. That was beat. Excellent. And now it's at a more critical or should be strong area. Could we have a catch bounce tomorrow? Closed below the lower Bollinger Band slightly, um, but we still have room to move towards the downside. So I would say. There's a good chance that it will be caught slightly tomorrow. And the question will be, how big can the catch happen? And can it reverse itself and uh, take out that catch? That is the question. Of course, there could be bad news overnight, which makes it gap down or just slices through this. That's entirely possible, in which case it is going to 13,250 the bottom of the long-term moving average bar. And just below the lower price consensus level for the month, Certainly the uh, secondaries all uh, support doing that if it really wants to. But uh, stochastics already getting uh, close to the bottom. And it is normal for them to hit the bottom, come close to the bottom, turn around, go up, meet the 14-day RSI moving average, and then finish the move out. So I'm kind of looking for that. Maybe tomorrow is a bit early for it, but uh, if not tomorrow, then I would assume Friday. So uh, if it doesn't try to do the catch tomorrow, I would be looking for it to do it Friday. Um, but that's just what I'm looking at for the moment. It certainly looks like it could have one more day down before the catch, but I kind of have a feeling that it will be tomorrow. Beyond that, 60 minute time frame. We've gone a long ways. Where are we now? Well, this is where we are now, getting right to that level where it should be caught and uh, bouncing very, very slightly. Beyond that, we have an area in the heat map suggesting a short-term bottom. It needs to work off some. Another reason why I would think um, a catch may be attempted tomorrow. 14-day RSI moving average, stochastics very, very low, RSI very low, MACD histogram very low and starting to slant up a little bit, MACD itself still pointing down, and CCI attempting to rise a bit, creating positive divergence. So, 60-minute time frame. Yep, it looks ready for a bounce. It does. I think that once that works itself off, it'll be ready for more to the downside, but uh, don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. SPX. 
Oh yes. It's more of the same. And we are right into the dead center of uh, the catch zone. Penetrating into the long-term moving average bar. Almost getting to lower price consensus level. And notice it almost lines up with this area here from before, similar to the Dow, but it isn't quite there. It's at this first catch, not this catch. So two in a row, along with lower price consensus level. This is a good area for it to get caught, at least in the very short term. And uh, everything that I said for the Dow applies for SPX. No difference in the 60 minute, but uh, I might as well take a look. It is identical to the Dow with actually a little bit of positive divergence in the MACD histogram. So, good place for it to get caught? Yes. How high will it go? I don't know. Moving on to the VIX. Nice day. Not, uh, not bad. Yes, it was red. Yes, it did not beat the uh, previous high, which is questionable. Yes, uh, it's still above the long-term moving average bar, closed right at the upper price consensus level, and uh, most things are still moving up with the exception of the RSI going sideways. Um, position the candle not beating the recent high, it is a little bit of a strike against it. It still has a long-term moving average bar to try and suck itself back into here. Um, and it ended up closing red yesterday, uh, uh, lower than yesterday. So red SPX, red VIX, somebody is lying. And I'm not sure who is right. Not sure who is right. You can see there's more development on the fast stochastic and CCI getting high. Um, so, could this go down tomorrow? It would seem a little bit more bearish than bullish. Not by much, just a smidgen. But uh, something to consider is tomorrow a grab, little bump back up rally day. Certainly is possible. The VIX seems to. Um, slightly lean in that direction. Now in the 60 minute time frame, Dow SPX look like they need a bounce. If they need a bounce, the VIX should need a decrease. What does this look like? Stochastics moving down. CCI trying to move down, not successfully. 14 day RSI moving average very high. Histogram slanting down. Uh, negative divergence on the RSI. MACD pointing down looking for a bearish cross. Yes, 60 minute overdone, overcooked, and ready for a bit of a decline. This is totally natural. Came down, came back up, got through the long term moving average bar, which had flatlined, came back out, established long term moving average bar, meets up with the 200 day moving average in the 60 minute time frame, coming back down to kiss it and hopefully bounce off of it. Natural, healthy, and would be very bullish. So do I mind this going down a little bit? No. I do not. That'd be about 80 cents to the downside. Just enough to get some uh, shorts to cover, some bulls to go long, and then they can drop it again. If they really want to. Which uh, I think the overall down move is not finished but it is due for a little bump. TNA. Oh yes, TNA. Talking about the desire to fill this gap. And it took about half of it out today. Not all of it, but about half. Doing damage to the long-term moving average bar, ending with a spinning top. Everything is headed down still. And how low has it already gone? Stochastic getting very low. Uh, CCI massively low. 
Could this be due for a bounce? Yes. Do we have an indication that that is imminent? No, not in the indicators. This would be much more telling if it was a hammer, bottom of a range, but it is not. We also do not have a bottoming area in the heat map, which uh, we don't have one in the Dow or SPX either. Just to go back, you can see no problem area SPX. No problem, Dow. So, does this one bounce now? 60 minute time frame. Maybe that can give us a clue. And what do we have here? We have everything trying to move up in the 60 minute time frame from a very low position. And we have lots of hammers, bottoming tails, etc. There is buying interest in this level. So, more bullish or more bearish? It is in a bottoming general area in the heat map. We can see that it's been bought and we can see that everything is trying to trend back up or turn. Yes, this is more bullish than bearish in the 60 minute time frame. Absolutely. USO oil. This sucker finally did what it should do. Market was going down, oil went down. That is proper. You can see that it did hit a minor area in the heat map today, slightly green, backed away from it. Beyond that, we do have most things trending up, although they are losing some steam already. Slow stochastic going sideways, RSI going down, 14 day RSI moving average holding low sideways. Good, very good. Red and red like the markets. This is proper. And UUP, the dollar. Interesting, isn't it? After closing very nicely above the the major price consensus level and beating the uh, breakout line, retreated today slightly, which doesn't jive with the overall market. Red candle, spinning top, and uh, also retreating from the long-term moving average bar, which we said would be a area of resistance, which it turned out to be. And uh, CCI ticking down, stochastics, 14 day RSI moving average moving up, MACD histogram slightly up, MACD up, and uh, down on RSI and of course CCI. So, very critical moment, having a little bit of a breath, totally natural. Uh, would have been much better if it had closed above the major price consensus level, would have been much better if it had closed above the breakout line, but it didn't. So that does make it slightly questionable. So, if the dollar wants to move down a little bit, and it looks like it is very possible, uh, maybe fill this gap, hopefully not fill both of these gaps, but uh, partially fill this gap, totally fill this gap, whatever, um, we could still make a higher recent high, pivot point wise, and a higher low if it stops about here or here, and that also opens the door for the move up in a little bit of a snapback for the overall market. So does this make sense? Yes, this makes absolute sense. I don't have a problem with it. Um, it fits perfect with what is going on overall. CompQ, the NASDAQ, very interesting. Another down day. Once again, closing outside the lower uh, uh, long-term moving average bar. Excellent. And yes, bearish. Where did it stop? Right here at this level where it should be caught. Is this a place for a bounce? Yes. Um, everything is moving down. Look how low we are, though. MACD histogram, very, very low. MACD itself, very, very low. Stochastics, very, very low. CCI, very, very low. Is this an optimal place for it to have a bit of a bounce up? Yes. Uh, 
And 60 minute time frame, why not? This sucker is important. And yes, MACD histogram slanting up, MACD turning up, along with the RSI. CCI is kind of just hanging out. Stochastic's trying to turn. Fortune the RSI moving average, low. Good place for it to catch its breath, maybe even move up. Yes. Totally at the mercy of the news, but isn't it always? And going on to Apple. Apple just uh, beat with an ugly stick. Today getting a little bit of a move up, spinning top. We did not get an uptick. That would have been a really good tell, but it did not happen. Bottom in the area in the heat map, unlike many other things. And uh, ticking up on the MACD histogram, moving up on the RSI, moving up on the stochastics, moving up on the CCI. Does this look like it wants a bounce? Yes. And GE. This was a big tell. We had the downtick resolve yesterday. Said that we need to see what would happen next, but that we were bearish inclined due to the position and nature of the secondary indicators. And we did have more movement down today. Excellent. Where did it crap out? Oh, nope. A little bit lower than the middle midpoint of the big green candle. Uh, but we have the bottom of the green candle real body and the bottom of the tail, which also corresponds with the major price consensus level for the month, which also corresponds with the top of the long-term moving average bar. Should it be caught right here? Uh, not really. Should it be caught right here? Yes. Notice, too, we don't have as much development in the stochastics, at least in the slow stochastic. We have lots of development in the fast stochastic for a possible turn at this moment. But uh, nonetheless, not as much development as the Dow or SPX and the position would seem to confirm that. So, a little more to the downside? Sure. Uh, no problem with that. And JP Morgan, most important bank, not having problem today, going up. Earnings on Friday, I believe. And they keep whispering, oh, it's going to be so good. Oh, it's going to be so good. Um, I actually like it running up into earnings because then there's more possibility for a uh, downward surprise, which would uh, help the markets go down in the case of a slight bounce and then drop. So, do I like this? Yes, I do. Everything seems to be pretty well aligned for movement down. Uh, the MACD histogram and the MACD not uh, helping that much, but CCI, CCI, RSI, stochastics, 14 day RSI moving average, nice positioning for a movement down when it comes. Not bad. And XLF financials as a whole, look at that. Down tick yesterday, and it was resolved today. We have to see what it wants to do next. It is a doji star indecision candle. Everything seems to be aligned for a move down when it occurs. Uh, definitely not as strong as JP Morgan by any measure. So, do I like this? Yep, I do. And to polish off the video, GLD. Yeah. Movement down, it was bought. Still a lower close than yesterday. And danger zone of higher low. If this decides to go back up, that is good for the overall market. Everything seems to be pretty well arranged for more movement down in the case of the 14-day RSI moving average. But look how low the CCI is, the fast stochastic is, and the MACD histogram is. Could this bounce before it takes out the previous low? Absolutely. 
So that is also a possible tell for further market movement and which would be a bump to the upside. Um, optimally, this would bump up. It would not take out this high and then it would take a, uh, another movement down and take out this low. That would be optimal. So uh, we shall see. And that is it for this evening. Very interesting tomorrow, but uh, excellent. I totally love what the market is doing. As always, all investing decisions are your own. This trend video for entertainment, educational, and consumption of time purposes only. Thank you very much.